Oh, hello and welcome to another episode of Robocraft with me, Table. Hello, uh, if you don't already know who I am, I'm Table. And uh, this is my Megabot, or at least this is the continuing process of me developing a Megabot. So the last time we repositioned the wheels and revamped the frame, <coughs> remounted the guns, uh, added some shields on the front. Now what we're talking is armour. I need to armour this, so I'm on 4,800 of 7,500. And what we really need to start considering now is, oh, I went a bit squiffy, is uh, getting armor on. So I'm going to try and armor this uh, this bot up in a way that uh, I can soak up a little bit more punishment. However, I do feel like I don't want it to be too spread out. I do want to, yeah, it's a tough one because I want it to be a solid shape, but at the same time, I need to reconsider how this is going to go together design-wise. So I'm happy with that. It looks ugly, I know, um, but we really should consider how I'm going to do this. Let's uh, let's mirror that idea there. So I'm just gonna what I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna load up the armor and get a feel for how I want this to look, how I want the design to to pan out. Kind of want to maybe make that strut there. I might not have this entire long length along the wheels. It didn't work out for me last time. It's a lot of blocks to commit to something that is only essentially one block thick, which I do think is a little bit of a problem. I really need to start making a Megabot that uses tier, uh, tier 10 blocks, because you can really load those on. You can have yourself a real beast of a... Hang on one second, I'm just gonna, just gonna draw this blind down. I've just noticed it's got a little bit sunny. I can't really see. I noticed I was being a bit squint here. Apologies for that slight problem. That slide break. Uh, that's going to happen all the time when I'm streaming. Like, oh yeah, just got to got to take care of this business. Uh, one moment. Uh, okay, so that's interesting. I'm going to go ahead and do away with that line. It's gone. Hmm. How am I doing? Five thousand three hundred. Okay. So it feels like that's kind of a section there. I'm going to totally do away with this bit. I don't feel that that is uh, useful in the slightest. I am going to chunkify this bit. Uh, and just add some more pieces here. Let's go ahead and do that. It's still only one block wide, which is not a good thing. Uh, I do kind of want to... No, I still can't yet. Let's do something like that. Oop. No. Hmm. Okay. Ah, now this needs a connection point. But again, it's only one block thick at this section, so I'm going to delete that and I'm going to put this in. This uh, sloped edge here is like the capsule from a previous design, and it's now uh, not really uh, obsolete, but you c it's it's a remnant of the old design, so I might have to revamp that when it comes to the beautification process. So it's quite a lot of armor lo loaded on there. So it's taking the shape of two sections, which I'm all right with. Uh, the shield points haven't all been connected. In fact, very few have. Oh, the bells! The bells are ringing. Uh, can I do that? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Uh, but can I connect the two? No, it would seem like I can't. So I have to go in to do that. So this whole section needs to be solidified. I find that the shield is great, but I really do want to have some armor behind this shield as well, and I want it to be a solid plate. I, want, I do want a solid plate uh, before it starts getting in and taking out wheels and such. So let's try and uh, just uh, ramp up. What's this bit? This is old design. Let's get rid of that as well. So let's do this. Look in there, look in there. Let's just cake it on. I still think I can do more here. Let's. Uh, uh, yeah. 6,000. I've still, I can still get a lot more armor on. That's good. I'm just gonna put more armor on. I'm just gonna 
really load up the front of this uh, this bot because as a mega you're going to take a lot of the damage uh, at the front. So if you can put on more armor as opposed to less armor, that's fantastic. As a result, though, mega bots do tend to be weaker uh, on the sides of back. So if you get the opportunity to ambush a mega, it's always always fun. Not necessarily for the mega, but for the person shooting at the mega, it can be. There we go. Okay, so that's quite a lot of armor on the front there coming on. It's just there. Add that as well. Do you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Okay. Right, that's quite a lot of armor. So I've still got about another thousand. This center section could use some strength. Um, I should probably strengthen that if I can. I'm going to just put in some more there. Let's just load that on. Okay. Let's make that a solid section. So, I'm going to commit the remaining blocks to this center core. Um, so that, I, uh, so that I can kind of tie these two sections together. I need to remove this remnant. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer it on. I'm just going to layer it on, bottom to top. I'm just going to see how much I can build it up. Which doesn't look like it will be too much, but it will be something. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to put on prisms and everything. Uh, until I've tested it, because I want it to be... Maybe I should just put a lip there. Just just so that it's not all wheel mountings that are going to get bombed. Oop. So what I'm... Yeah, so you can see... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep going with this. Uh, let's just keep adding it on. I'm going to double up that lip, I've decided. I'm going to double it up. Okay, so that's that doubled up. Uh, need to strengthen the connection here. So let's just do this. That's good. Yeah, okay, we're getting there. What am I on? Oh, I'm rapidly approaching the end as far as the amount of P-flops I have available is concerned. Um, let's just put them here then. Strengthen this center core. And we're there. We're, we are out. So, that's the new shape. Uh, it's quite blocky. Uh, it's got quite a lot of armor on the front though. I'm a little bit more happy with that. It feels more inclusive as a design. It doesn't feel like a skeletal frame. Um, let's take it out for a quick spin in practice. Just check that there's no awful things with the maneuverability. For example, guns catching on the ground, edges of shields catching on the ground. But I think we're there with the Megabot uh, and ready to field test anyway. It's quite small. Oh, it's quite tippy as well. Hmm, I don't know, maybe. Maybe it'll be alright. It's very narrow wheelbase. It's very small. All the Megabots seem small. That's the downside. Okay, right. Back we go. Uh, that's it. That's, that's, that's the test. I'm going to test this frame, see how it performs in a couple of matches. Uh, and then from there we will modify the design and also make it prettier. Uh, I've been Table. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please do, uh, if you if you liked what you've seen here today, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out uh, unimaginably so, as it does all amateur YouTube content creators. Don't forget, take care of yourselves. Have a good day. Stay charm, and most importantly of all, don't forget, 